Yo, what's up guys, today I'm going to show how to factory reset your MacBook Air. This video should also apply for a MacBook Pro as well, like on my previous video. But I'll make a MacBook Air version so that it'll be easier for most beginners. If you have an iCloud account, you have to make sure to log out. Just go to settings, click on iCloud, uncheck iCloud Drive, click on remove from MacBook, now, since my iCloud drive is not updated, I decided to stop. Updating isn't really necessary, just click on stop updating and turn off. This will turn off your iCloud drive much faster, as you can see here. For the Find My Mac, I had it off, but if this option is checked, make sure to uncheck and enter your password. Now you want to click on sign out. All of this will make sure that your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro are iCloud free. Now we can finally start. On the top left corner, click on the Apple logo. Then restart your MacBook Air. As soon as you see the white screen, press and hold the Command and R key at the same exact time until you see the Apple logo. Now you can let go. After 2 minutes this screen should pop up. Go to Disk Utility. Now for this part, your settings might look like this, but make sure you don't delete anything that you're not supposed to. What you're supposed to do is click on this option. Go all the way to the bottom. Click on show all devices. Now this is what you're looking for. For some reason I had to do this for my MacBook Air. This is your main SSD. Don't do anything on here. What you want to delete is a disk right below it. Click on it. Choose erase. If you want to change the name you can or just leave it. Now for the format make sure to scroll to Mac OS Extended Journal. Then choose erase. This will delete all the information from your MacBook Air SSD. Once finished you want to exit out, click on reinstall Mac OS. Choose continue twice, agree, now click on your SSD and install. This installation should take around 20 to 30 minutes. After installing it should take you to the Apple logo. After another 20 minutes you will be brought to the welcome screen. And from here you can start your factory resetted MacBook Air, like if you got it brand new out of the box. Well guys, I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.